I said in my last video that I would talk about Charles Leclerc's character building season in 2020 very soon. Well, here we are. As far as Ferrari are concerned, 2020 has been a nightmare. 12 months ago, they were fighting for wins, poles, and 1-2s on a consistent basis. Nowadays, when Charles beats the McLarens in the racing points of this world, it's considered an over-delivery. As a driver, this can be incredibly frustrating, being promised the opportunity to fight for wins, poles, and titles, when in reality, the car isn't performing to those expectations. Sound familiar? Oh yeah. I have been thoroughly impressed with the way Charles has dealt with the ups and downs of this season. He has consistently put that Ferrari in positions it never should have reached. For a car that down the straight is no faster than a Fiat Panda, Leclerc is dragging the SF1000 in a similar fashion to Fernando Alonso in 2012. So I want to give my opinion on his season so far and why this is the most important year of his career to date. Yo what's up guys it's Ben here and I hope you're all doing well. I posted a question on my community page about Leclerc's 2020 season to get some discussion going and there were a lot of great comments and opinions from you guys that helped to make this video so thank you to all of you who took the time to respond. I'll definitely post more on my community page because I feel like it's a great way to connect with you guys and generally give thoughts and feelings on F1 so if you're new to the channel and want to keep up to date with everything make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new content. You can also find a link to my Twitter in the description, but now we've got all that out of the way, let's get into it. Leclerc's first year could arguably be considered his most important in proving his talents as a driver. Without his great performance in 2018, Ferrari would have never called him up to partner Sebastian Vettel in 2019, but realistically, there wasn't too much pressure on him to perform. If anything, he had nothing to lose, going all out every single weekend. His first true test came when going up against a full-time world champion in just his second season. Now yes, Ferrari were doing something shady with their engine after the summer break, but nevertheless, it was Leclerc who capitalised on the opportunity to win in Spa after the death of his friend Antoine Hubert and in Monza to end a 9 year drought on home soil for the Scuderia. It could be argued that 2019 was his most important season in that it established his number one status within the team. Since then, Ferrari's fortunes have somewhat changed and they are currently at best the 6th fastest team in Formula 1. So what actually happened? Well, a number of engine-related rule changes appear to have affected all Ferrari-powered cars the most as they are significantly slower on the straights compared to 2019. Their car is also lacking aerodynamic efficiency, with team principal Mattia Bonotto suggesting that they were developing a car around a much faster engine until they were hit by the technical directives. Charles has become the leader of the most decorated team in Formula 1 history. To live up to that kind of pressure at such a young age is extremely difficult. But with that pressure comes extra motivation, according to the young Monegasque, as he feels he is getting more out of himself as a result. He is carrying a very heavy load at the moment, but the experience will most definitely have a long-lasting effect on his F1 career. Due to the extremely poor handling and drivability of the SF1000, Leclerc is being forced to become a more adaptable driver who can change his driving style depending on how well the car sets up going into a race weekend. As a result of the poor car performance, the team has restructured its technical base, meaning that it will be crucial for Charles to integrate himself within this rebuilding process other than get frustrated and give up on hope. After all, he has already signed a long-term deal with the Scuderia, so giving up is just not an option. This year is also incredibly important for Charles to really take charge and lead the team in the right direction in terms of development. This will most likely be more aimed at the 2022 regulations as realistically they won't win another race until then. In these difficult times, Charles will need to act as an inspirational figure and pull everybody together to bring Ferrari back to the front of the pack. Keeping everybody motivated and focused on improvement will help Charles not only deepen the relationship with his engineers, but also develop leadership skills that will come in handy during a championship fight. As for his driving, we all know how incredibly fast he is, especially in qualifying. His most recent P5 at the Tuscan Grand Prix is a great example of his amazing raw speed. His race pace, racecraft, and especially tyre management have all improved since last year, even though he may not be controlling the races from the front. I admit, he hasn't been perfect, especially after his lap on incident in Styria, but he is very self-critical and will always own up to his mistakes. He will also need to improve on his ability to read situations and make the correct decision in the heat of the moment. This is something that I think will come with more experience and better understanding of what race strategy is best in different scenarios. Having said all that, Charles is having one of the best seasons out of any driver in 2020. 
It wouldn't be fair for me to compare his stats to Sebastian at this point, as the German struggles are due to more than just the SF1000. But if we take a look at some standout performances from this year, his first podium in Austria came after two spectacular moves on Lando Norris and Sergio Perez after the safety car restarts. His second podium in Silverstone came as a result of very intelligent tyre management and being in the right place at the right time to take advantage of all the punctures. After starting P5 in Mugello, he made his way up to P3 before eventually being passed by the faster cars behind. At the moment, Charles is 8th place in the championship with 49 points, ahead of the racing points of Sergio Perez, the McLaren of Carlos Sainz and the Renault of Esteban Ocon, which just goes to show the strong year he is having. Let's see how the rest of this season plays out, but I only expect him to continue delivering every race until the end of the season. I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel if you're new to enjoy plenty more videos in the future. Thank you for all the love and support recently, let's try and push for our end of year goal of 5k subs and as always, I'll see you in the next one.